Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to edit or create a new contact page for your website. So for contact pages, we have created a page template called as contact. So if you simply edit your current contact page in the WP admin panel, you will notice that the page template for this page will be contact page. And the contact page template currently has the map on the top and the below part is built using the content. So if we enable the page builder, the page builder content will appear below the map area. So as you can see, we have four blocks here. Now to edit the contact form, the contact form is a simple form which is built using the form shortcode. So you can either delete the form shortcode or create a new form from the wipe shortcodes panel. So here you need to enter the email to which the contact form will send the email to. For multiple emails, you can simply add a comma and add the new email address. This is the subject for the contact form. And you can add the fields. Important point that you should not miss that you need a submit button for the contact form. If you want to edit the existing contact form, you can see that the form shortcode will be there in the page builder. And here you'll see a form tag with a two attribute where you can enter your own email address and change the subject of the form. So this will change the email address to which these, this contact form will send email to. To change the location of the pointer in the contact page, you need to go to the WPLMS options panel miscellaneous section. And in this section, you will see that we have a contact page latitude and longitude values. And there is a link to get the latitude and longitude values. If you simply click on the link, so it will take you to the itouchmap.com site where you can locate your latitude and longitude values. So you can zoom in and locate. So once you have done this, you will see that we have the latitude and longitude values here. So we can simply copy this. And first the latitude value will, will come, then we add a comma and then we'll paste the longitude value. And now we save the changes. So this will change the map pointer in our contact page. So we have a new location. That's it from WPLMS tutorials. Thanks for watching.